In this dose calc example, we're going to look at MEQs. Now, one other thing to mention before we dive into this problem, in med dosage live session number five, I did do a milli equivalent example. It's actually quite a bit tougher than this one, but I still wanted to go ahead and get a video out here on milli equivalents because it has a tendency to confuse students. But I got some good news for you. We treat MEQs like any other word. What do I mean by that? I'm literally gonna do the same thing that I always do with my dose count problems. And the first thing is looking at our goal. Our goal is MEQs per hour. So MEQs is that top word, and we need to look for this word in our problem. And we have 40 milli equivalents. So notice I'm taking the 40 milli equivalents and I'm putting it over 250 milliliters because the problem says 40 milli equivalents are in that 250 milliliters of solution. These two values are connected. I'm treating MEQ like any other word. I don't care if it's milligrams, micrograms, milli equivalents, milliliters, tablets, capsules, whatever. It's a word. And in this case, that word is part of our goal. It's the top word in our goal. So I'm starting off with it. Now we need to get rid of milliliters here. And we do have the 75 milliliters per hour. We wanna bring that in. Don't use the 250, we've already used that. Don't repeat numbers. But as I said a moment ago, the 75 milliliters per hour. We're putting it in this order so that we can cancel out our milliliters and look at what we've got. Milli equivalents, only word left at the top. Hour, only word left at the bottom. Just like that, we've met our goal. No formula. Do not try to sit there and memorize milli equivalence formulas because tomorrow you wait for it. I'm gonna give you a slightly different milli equivalent example, a little bit tougher. But what I wanna to stress to you here is that we treat it like any other word. Now back to our goal, we've met it. Whenever I've met my goal, that's when I multiply my top numbers and divide by my bottom numbers. And if you do that, you actually get a nice value, 12. And this represents 12 milli equivalents per hour. 